These ponds are home to some of the most interesting and often overlooked reptiles and amphibians. Over the coming weeks, I will be looking for these aquatic animals close to and in the water. Animals like this pickerel frog need the water to prevent their skin from drying out. I started by walking along the banks by the water to find them basking. That's how I found these gigantic northern water snakes. These snakes bask so that they can adjust their body temperature. Even though the snake is non-venomous, it can still deliver a nasty bite. These water snakes use their hooked teeth to capture and hold their prey. One of the species I really want to see today is the spotted turtle. This species is rare and finding one would be extremely difficult. The spotted turtle is usually found in swamps and creeks. Sadly, it started to rain, so I returned later at night to see if any amphibians would cross the road. I was able to find these American toads. Adults like this one are usually nocturnal, with juveniles occasionally being diurnal. These toads come onto the road because of food and migration. Especially in early spring, amphibians can be seen migrating to vernal pools and other bodies of water to reproduce. The next morning, the toads were gone. While they weren't on the road, I was able to find them in great numbers all across the grass. These are hatchlings, so they are very tiny, barely the size of a penny. It is important to remember that toads are still frogs, just a little bit different from the ones you commonly associate with being a frog. I got sidetracked when I found this pile of garbage. While littering is bad for the environment, it also creates perfect habitat to find snakes and salamanders. While none of the tin had anything underneath it, I did find this subadult garter snake right next to an old tire. One of the more common prey garter snakes feed on are newts. Since those newts are toxic, eastern garter snakes have learned to digest them with little effect. The word garter is often mistaken for garden, yet garter means the stripes along its back. After finding the garter snake, I found the spotted salamander under a log. This is also an aquatic species and relies on water sources in the forest to live. These salamanders mainly feed on small invertebrates and algae. Some of their predators include raccoons, birds, turtles, and snakes, especially garter snakes. The reptile I'm looking for, the spotted turtle, also hunts for spotted salamanders. Not far from the spotted salamander, I also found this wood frog sitting in the leaf litter. These frogs live as far north as the Arctic Circle and tend to blend in pretty well with surrounding leaves. I made my way back to the pond when I found another garter snake basking in the sunlight. Garter snakes are related to ribbon snakes, especially when considering the stripes. It was really relaxed, so I left it where it was. Snakes don't want anything to do with people and certainly won't chase you, contrary to legend. While I was walking around the pond, I found a creek. In the creek, I found this baby snapping turtle. This is the first time I've seen one of the juveniles. Snapping turtles spend most of their time underwater and once they grow to a decent size, don't have to worry too much about predators. Adults can often be seen crossing roads to get to nearby wetlands. I then let the snapping turtle swim back to where it had been. 